Hi guys and welcome to this exciting episode on Menace Rides where today we start doing the fun part and that's putting this Kawasaki GPZ project bike back together. So stay tuned, it's going to be awesome. All that hard work comes down to this moment and let's enjoy it. Let's get this bike back together guys. With our fuel hoses connected, I can now mount our fuel tank with its fastener. Let's just size it up. Yeah, I'm going with about 13. Yep, 13 is good. Always well, just start it off by hand first so you're not stripping threads. Hey guys, tell me what you think of the paint job for a barn job. In the comments below, let me know what you think. Obviously, we can only get better at it. Not like we paint every day, but... I think it came out pretty darn good. Here we go. Fuel tank in, guys. Let's step back and see what we got going. The next part is exciting because that's the front fairing, but let's just take it a step back and see how we're looking that's gonna look awesome that's gonna look awesome all right so the next step is to get the fairing ready and that means headlights into the fairing and onto the bike i'll get that set up all right guys before i get carried away with the fairing we're not done with the fuel tank i forgot about the fuel cap just getting sort of excited you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying we get carried away so there's obviously the rubber gasket that goes in. That, like, it's a locking screw that screws from the inside. So if this were to be closed and locked, they can't just remove the outer and fill up, you know. When these guys steal motorbikes, they want to fill it with fuel. So this is a deterrent. There we go, that's it. Now I can close it just to protect. Okay, fuel cap back, done. Now we can set up our rig for our front ferry. Where's all this dust coming from? There we go, looks better. Okay guys, so we're at the point of getting our headlights into our front fairing. That's our headlight, four bolts. This is the adjuster for the internal light for up and down. So your height, your angle of attack on your light. And then on the left hand side, you've got an adjuster in terms of getting it center. So pretty cool for back in the day. I want to mention something guys, if you're looking at building or wanting to get into restoring a motorcycle out of experience, I would say these little GPZ 500s have a lot to offer in terms of a motorcycle, number one. And in terms of a restoration, these bikes are super, super easy to work on. Super simple. It's like, I wish all bikes would keep to the same principle. It's like we've gone backwards. That BMW GS 650F that I built... I mean, the way the fairing and the indicators and everything comes together is just such a mission, I promise you. Um, it's not the easiest, but if you're looking to start out and you're looking at a motorcycle to buy, fix and restore, I'll, like, I would do the GPZ 500 any day of the week. And it's such a lovely bike. It's a 500cc, it's got a lot to offer. It's an inline 4 twin cam. Um, it's, it's not going to scare you. It's just going to be an awesome ride. But you'll see. You'll see. When the spark is on the road, you'll see. 
Let's see what I'm talking about. It's just good for every purpose. Here we go, guys. Head light here. Tell me what you think. Oh, yeah. Let's get that on the back. Let's get that on the back. Here we go. Attempt number one. It's a little bit awkward to get these on, actually. You get the right angle of attack without stretching this out too much. And we've also got to connect our We're going to leave it at that for now, just so we can do our electrical connections. So. Right, these are our protectors. Each side of the fairing gets a section that just prevents the fairing from rubbing against the plastics and losing paint. So this bike is properly kitted, well thought of. There we go. So let's get the other side in. Okay, looking good. All right, just fishing out the bolts. They need to mount the underside back in. Other side, these are just the mounting bolts for the for the front fairing. Again, very simple. Okay, and just with four bolts, our front fairing is in, guys. Like I said, this is such an easy build in terms of a motorcycle. Looking good. Headlight, four bolts, fairing, four bolts done. I think next we're going to tackle that windshield. Let's get that in, and it'll start looking like a motorcycle, guys. Woohoo. Okay, looking sporty. I got all the other bolts in. Time to get some mirrors in. I've prepped them. I bought these mirrors on eBay, but they didn't come with the bolts and they didn't come with the rubber boot like the OEM. So I swapped over the boot from the old mirrors, like I kept them. So, yeah, just one of those things, I suppose. Okay, so we've got a rubber washer in there. That's our mirror, guys. I'm going to copy paste. Get in there. Okay, with our fairing headlight screen and mirrors installed i want to continue with my favorite part of this bike by the way which is the front mud guard i followed the pattern through with the angled stickers i put the k for kawasaki i don't know i just think it's a sweet looking piece i'm excited to get it in because i think that's just going to finish this front end off so nice i've taken the time to put some um masking tape or protective tape only because this is such a tight fit I do believe the correct way to fit these on this bike is to have the front wheel off and slide it between the shocks, get it into place and mount it. I'm not doing that right now. I don't have a way to lift this front or keep the front up. Um, yeah, I'm working with what I have. So I've just put a bit of protective tape. It's got like a wax layer on the top end. So that should hopefully help it slip in there without damaging the paint. Boom. Yeah, not the most majestic way of doing it, but that is going to be awesome. Okie dokie, let's have a look. That. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. That is looking awesome. Definitely, definitely, I'll bring you closer. Look at this bike coming together. Nice. Next, belly pan. Let's go. Right, guys. We work our way from the front to the back. Mudguard is in. I'm now going to install our belly pan. 
A uh, quick note is the standard belly pan, which this is from Kawasaki, used to be finished off completely. I've cut these two holes out, one on the side and one on the opposite end, only purely to facilitate the exhaust because the exhaust does touch and it does melt this. It does melt this plastic, so I've gone ahead and cut an equal size hole, both sides to facilitate the exhaust so that we're not melting our fairing. Okay, with this belly pan, we want to turn our steering wheel to the side to accept it in. There we go. And then it's just simply four little M10 bolts again. So two at the top, two at the back, and we're done. So I'm going to get that in. Oh, hi. I'm just getting the last bolt in on this belly pan. Okay, so we're almost there. All our front end's done and our belly pan's in. The camera's not doing it justice, guys. We're going to move on to the rear end and get this bike wrapped up. Okay, rear, fem rear fairing assembly. I remember this came off last, so I'm going to go with that first. Because I'm pretty sure the left and the right hand side clip into this section here. Got our bolts ready with some nylon washers. Just protects the paints, guys. Done. I think the next thing that came off this was our pillion or passenger handlebar. So I'm going to get that in quickly. That goes there. That came out super awesome. Pull and handle sorted, looking good. Okay, so let's get our right inside fairing in, rear right inside fairing. There's a grommet at the back here that needs to accept the fairing. I like to put a little touch of general purpose grease just so that that grommet slides in there without any interference. And I'll do the same in the front. Here we go. Try to slide that in. I remember it was pretty tricky getting these out, so I hope it goes as smooth as I hope. Repeat the process on the left hand side. That's it. Left and right panel installed. Woohoo! Right, guys, with this bike coming along so nicely. We've done the tank, we've done the rear fenders, everything. I need to get a seat on this bike, and with this bike, it's simple. Most bikes are. It's just a hook in and clip the back scenario, hopefully. There we go. Nice and easy, does it? All right, so with all that done and dusted, we've come to the point where we need to put in our exhaust cans. These are refurbished basically, this had a complete dent in it, if you watch my previous episode, no they're not brand new, they're in no way perfect, but I think they are perfect for this bike, if you understand what I mean. I've also cut them shorter, I cut them shorter from this end by uh, 90 millimeters. so I think they're going to suit the bike a little bit better, hopefully it sounds a bit better too, I don't know. Um, that's in place already, that's just our... Universal Union coupler and hopefully this goes on pretty easy because I was knocking on that to get it off. Right, let's get our bits and bobs in place and ready. Let's just start. It's time to get some fuel in this 
fuel tank and for the first time here what this bike sounds like with its exhaust on so I know this is not a jerry can guys this is the fuel I saved fuel's expensive these days but it's good fuel and yeah let's just get some in there I'm dripping everywhere all right it should be enough fuel to get us going guys this is an old carbureted motor so and it hasn't been started since this build since that service we did um let's put the fuel make sure our fuel is on okay fuel is sorted remember it's got a fuel tap on the box i'm going to give it a little bit of choke it's going to take a couple of kicks we have to prime the carburetors push run and let's go oh wow that was a surprisingly easy start they could have been fueled in the carburetors Sounding sweet. Let's have a look. That's our two exhausts. Obviously, I need the brackets to get them up and nice. But guys, she is running so sweet. So the choke a bit. I look so nice, nice little twin 500cc guys, going to be an awesome bike, look at that, get that headlight on, I did figure out there was a switch, there we go, she's got a headlight, there was a cable I didn't connect, I connected that, indicators, Front and rear, check the rod, there we go, make sure we got a tail light, woohoo guys this bike is so weak, I'm so excited to get it out on the road, let's switch off that indicator. That sounds like a whole bunch of fun guys. We built this together. Thank you for joining me on this project. Thank you for joining me on this project. It's been awesome. The next time you see me on this channel, it'll be on an outride with this bike because I just can't wait. Obviously I need to do a, a roadworthy in the UK. They call it an MOT. Um, get the exhaust bracket sorted. Because it's been real, it's been cool. Thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe. Menace rides.